granddad business with Aaron Caliber. That's my dad. Hello, underpants. That is hilarious. Just your mouth do. Rate and review this podcast or my daddy will go into a deep depression. <laughs> Welcome to Grown Dad Business. This is Aaron Kleiber and uh, Jason Clark. Yeah, yeah. Say hi. Hey. Uh, we're, we're coming once again from Arcade Comedy Theater, the front window where people give us funny looks because they're like, they're on the, they're on the radios. Who's they're, a, who are those two fancy guys? Who are these guys talking on microphones? This must be Hollywood. We even added a, a MacBook to the table. It you makes know, it look people, like we're broadcasting all it's, across it's the world. So, it's so funny that, uh, you know, I used to do a lot of videos. Like, mm -hmm. a, and you know, we, I made independent films and like, even when I would make little funny sketch videos, no matter what, there's always people that will show up and be like, you Are guys you, making a movie. Where's you, John Goodman? <laughs> <laughs> you, you shut your mouth. You, John Goodman, that. F quick story. Yeah. I, uh, I was cast as young John Goodman. Oh my goodness. In a, in, I'm not going to say what it was. Yeah. It was filming here. Yeah. Uh, but then they were like, we don't need him. Yeah. That was going to happen. That wasn't for that one the other year, was it? The Christmas movie. Yeah. I actually, funny story, never told you this one. I went to a thing for extras for that. Yeah. They pulled me out of line, measured me up, and said, you would be the perfect stand-in for John Goodman. How funny is that? I'm going to headbutt you in the face. I swear to God. Yeah, well, they were supposed to be a scene with I young John Goodman, and uh, they, then they decided they didn't need it. How and weird. I was so mad. How uh, no, I just wanted to meet John Goodman. Yeah. No, John Goodman is like my actor dom doppelganger. Yeah. Like, I you know what I mean is, it's like, I want, there was a conversation uh, that I had with some people when I was in Chicago, and we were like, what actor could, would you pick that you could not only play their roles, but also fit all of their roles? Like, you'd have to, like, fit that actor's mm. casting. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right. And I picked right. John Goodman. Yeah. I picked John Goodman. I was like, not only I fit all of his characters, but like I want to play all his roles. Right. I mean, everything from Roseanne to, you know, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, Big Lebowski. Yeah. I mean, dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, uh, anyway. his, yeah. It's, yeah. His, his, his work is like, oh, it's so good. I love him. Yeah. I love him. Uh, he, he's been in some stinkers. Yeah, but I mean, but hey. he'll he'll show up out of nowhere and stuff. <laughs> Listen, Robert De Niro did the intern. I mean, dude, that movie was so stupid. Oh God. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, we kind of spoiled last week. If you didn't listen to last week, what did we talk about last week? All kinds of things. Yeah, we did. We were all over the place. Jumbo, bologna. That's it. Um, no more. Yeah, we're not allowed to talk about food anymore. We have too many people uh, asking if this is a food podcast. It's not. And uh, just because we had one episode called Corned Beef Dads. And donuts. Okay, and donuts. And also Jason's wife is like, okay, stop. <laughs> You're fat pigs. <laughs> this is her. I, I read the text. She goes, you need to stop talking about food, you fat pigs. Oh, my little uh, honey. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's not uh, real. And she was like, no one gives up about. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more no. like what it was. <laughs> Gosh. I like food. What, what do you well, want me to tell it. you? Yeah, um, but no, we did. We, we ended up with talking about um, spoiling what we're coming into this week a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so here's what we're going to get into. Uh, and before we get into all that, let me just uh, pitch out some stuff here. Um, you're listening to this, well, on, on Thursday. And uh, right now, I'm in Los Angeles. If you are in Los Angeles, you could see me perform tonight, Thursday, the 15th? Is mm -hmm. that right? Thursday the yep. 15th? No, yes. that's not. Oh, that's yeah. right. Thursday the 15th, uh, 8 o'clock, I'll be at the Comedy of Magic Club in Hermosa Beach in near Los Angeles. Are you doing magic and or are you doing comedy? It's just called the Comedy of Magic Club. Oh, okay. I think occasionally they have magicians. Uh, and then 10 p.m., I'll be at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. And then Friday through Sunday, I'll be at the Brea Improv. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the Brea Improv. Jason's just waving to random children out the window. <laughs> Like a weird ass dude. <laughs> he was cute. Um, I know. I'm Come a dad. On. I see yeah. little kids. Nice. Uh, and other than that, uh, big uh, December 23rd at Arcade yeah. Comedy Theater. Big one. December 23rd at Arcade Comedy Theater at 8 p.m. 
uh, is the Roast of Ralphie. Yeah, that's yep. Ralphie from A Christmas Story. I'll be playing a character. It's characters from Christmas movies, Christmas yeah. holidays. Uh, yeah, someone will be frosty, I'm sure. Someone is going to be frosty. <laughs> that's the only one I'm giving away. But yeah. we're going to be roasting Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Uh, and then at 10 p.m. is the holiday version of Stand Up Get Down. Yeah. It's mine and Jason's, uh, Jason and Mine's. Ours. Justin and Mayans. Justin and Mayans. Uh, we'll it's our stand-up comedy game show. It's the only stand-up comedy game show uh, in the world that's any good. Um, <laughs> and uh, we have some special treats for we do. Christmas. We're fired up for it. Dude. It's exciting. There are some exciting, there's yeah. some big things. We're hopes and dreams. Yeah. Hopes this and is, dreams. We're finally doing something in Stand Up Get Down that I wanted to do when I started doing the show. Yeah. It was actually my first idea I ever had. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is what this show needs. Yeah. And I was like, can't do it. No. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off. Well, yeah. manna from heaven. We, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're just going to tease it out there. It's just, it, it, we're just teasing. That's not Santa Claus no. walking past us right now. We're just teasing that out. We're just teasing it. We're, you got to come see what we're doing. December 23rd, yeah. 8 p.m. Uh, we're going to the the blow the roof off this joint. Yeah, 10 p.m. Stand Up Get Down. Uh, you could come to both shows if you want for one price. Whatever. I just said it. I don't oh care. Boy. I'm throwing out coupon codes that don't exist. Oh, man. Whatever. Go to the booth and say, uh, my dad, Aaron, said that I could go to both <laughs> shows for $10. My dad. My dad. My dad. Uh, so, oh, yeah, uh, do that. And then New Year's Eve, I'll be at the Pittsburgh Improv yeah. with Josh Wolf. And then that's about it. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if you like movies, you can go listen to Handle the Truth podcast, me and Sean Collier. Sean Collier is a real movie critic. Uh, we talk about movies every single week. We're going to be coming out with the Rogue One episode next week. Mm. We're, a little, we're a little delayed because I'll be in Los Angeles. Yeah. But we're going to have a Rogue One episode I think I'm gonna go next Saturday. week. I'm going to try to go Saturday. I'm going to go when I'm in L.A. Yeah, 10 in the morning. Yeah. Um, with my daughter's boyfriend. That's what I'm... I'm going to go... What? Yeah, okay, it's a whatever, tradition dude. thing. We go to all the new Star Wars movies, 10 o'clock in the morning, Saturday, and then we go eat pizza afterwards and talk about the movie together. You and your, your da, future son-in-law. Ah, please. Cart, horse, don't put it before it. Relax. You're the one going to Star Wars with him on a Saturday at 10 a.m. and then eating pizza. You're in L.A. What am I supposed to do? You're my only friend and he's my backup. <laughs> that sounds like... <laughs> Is that like your big brother, big sister program? <laughs> Something like that. It yeah. sounds like you're mentoring yeah. him. Norlex isn't in town either. He's my other big brother. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Good. But yeah, check that out. Uh, handle the truth podcast.com mm -hmm. at truth podcast on Twitter. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I just figure, you know, I tell people that because you know, there's a lot of parents or any listeners that like movies and we, it's a great, it's a great podcast before I even got to know you and Sean. I mean, I listened, Thanks. like I went to that, if me and Melissa were going to go out to get to go to a movie, yeah. I would hit up a lot of people Sean say that. and yeah. say what's good. I mean, he yeah. sent me to some independent films yeah. over um, on the other side of town in single seat in single theaters, yeah, yeah. and he's never steered me wrong. Like you guys have um, always been dead on. Yeah, uh, thanks. You're well, welcome. I mean, I love movies. Sean's day job is watching movies. He's yeah. the he's the Pittsburgh movie reviewer. Yeah. I know there's a couple. Yeah. But uh, but Sean's it. Sean is the Pittsburgh movie reviewer. Yeah. Um. Our our engineer Dom is here. I locked the door. I locked the door because crazies. I I always lock the door because of crazies. That's what it is. Um. Sorry, Dom. I locked the door because of the Liberty Avenue crazies that come through. Yeah. Dom. Sh Dom. We still have about twenty five minutes of a podcast to do. You son of a bitch. Oh, you, you son of a bitch. Don't you? You're not. How yeah. dare you speak those words? You haven't been given the uh, card of approval. Um, Jason's leaving. He's leaving. No, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of fun things going on. Um, Jason, what were we talking about that I can talk about by myself? Yeah, no, we're ready to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're getting right into Elf on the Shelf? Yep. Uh, so, so yeah, there's, there's a couple topics we're going to talk about today, uh, some funny things. But before we start, spoiler alert... Spo this is what we do on the Handle the Truth podcast. We say spoiler alert when we're going to talk about any spoilers for a movie. Well, today it's going to be us as two dads talking about Elf on the Shelf yep. and Santa. Yeah. So, uh, 
and we're introducing a new little weekly segment as well. Yes, we are. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, it's going to be a new weekly segment. We're going to end the episode every week, so stick to the end. It's going to be funny. Uh, I promise. Yeah. Uh, but uh, spoiler alert, uh, any parents listening in the minivan or in the house uh, while you're uh, yeah. putting Christmas decorations up with the children. Put your earbuds in. Spoiler alert. Just uh, wink, wink from, from, from one dad to another mom mm-hmm. and dad. Yeah. Wink, wink, wink. Spoiler alert. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about Elf on the Shelf and Santa. So, okay, go ahead. Make your preparations. Three, mm-hmm. two, one. All right. Now you're just alone. It's just <laughs> it's me just and you. Us in the dark. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. So tuck yourself in. And listen tight. Why don't you pull that comforter down? Just what? Like, just like, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? I, right. I bamboozled you. you did. <laughs> I bamboozled everybody. Uh, no. So our first thing is uh, Elf on the Shelf. There was a, Jason sent me a really funny uh, a news clip that was covered in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Because a dad sat on the roof. <laughs> dri- this is next level dad. Yeah. This is yeah. this is next level dad. That's another segment. Next level dad. You, right. I, anytime we come up with a next level dad, uh, yeah. we're gonna. That, get, he's we, definitely. We enter that with her. Meow meow meow. Pa, 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 pa. Next level dad. Dad. <laughs> Exclusive <laughs> dad. That's so dumb. Uh, next level parent. So yeah. this guy sat on the roof of his kid's elementary school. Elementary. Yeah. Dressed as. Elf on the shelf. <laughs> he sat there, cold, stone faced. <laughs> Staring at children. Oh. Now, at first glance, that's creepy as it's hell. It's creepy. I'm, I'm surprised that they did not grab him and say, ah, you're violating some type of codes. Well, because first of all, he had dirty ass Nikes on. Right. And he had a beard. Yeah, like He looks like someone from Sons Lawrence. of Anarchy. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Opie from Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Opie from Sons of Anarchy dressed Just up as Elf in the Shelf. Sitting on the roof of your kid's school, yeah. you pull up the minivan, and there's Biker Bob dressed as an, Biker in a Bob, onesie. He's in a red dad. onesie. Yeah, my dad's dressed in a onesie with a <laughs> with a beard halfway down his down his That's down really his, what happened, stomach. actually. Yeah. So uh, in West Virginia. That's where it was. Just the location. Yeah, yeah, we're just whatever. Okay. Sometimes you're surprised, sometimes you're not. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you're, it can be a nut. Sometimes you, what is it? Yeah. Mounds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So, okay. so at first, like, I guess, uh, in the, and you can look it up. Um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll post it. We'll put the link in. I'll yeah. post it on my Aaron Kleiber, uh, my Aaron Kleiber friends page. Um, but, uh, you know, at first glance, like you think it's a little nuts. Yeah. Like, it does look creepy at first, but then, like, they interviewed him, and he was like, a lot of kids were, like, really excited, yeah, and they were happy, but also, it's, like, kind of a whole next-level Big Brother thing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's like, Mm -hmm. Elf on the Shelf (laughs) is now a six-foot-four man who sits on your school. Smokes Newports. (laughs) (laughs) He don't smoke Newports. He smokes Marble Marble Reds, Reds. bro. He's He's a bearded dad from West Virginia. Matter of fact, he rolls his own, bro. His his elf suit, he collected the Marlboro points. Yes, that he, he set did. away for it it's with a, a new with a new pool cue and a, and a, and a bomber jacket. Oh, you know he's got that. You know he's got that wind up generator <laughs> from the <like> Marlboro. <laughs> oh my god! Listen, my mom had at least twelve different things that she got for free from. When Marble. I was in middle school, my mom had a boyfriend that got all this crap from Marlboro Miles. Yeah, and uh, it was ridiculous. Oh yeah, it oh, was yeah. like the cooler, the pool cue. We had pool cues. <laughs> pool cues. I had. I had a cooler that you wound up and played a radio. Mm. That was like a mm. big item. Yeah. It had it was a cooler that also yeah. had a radio in it Shit. that you would wind up and it would work. That's it would like charge itself. That's crazy. That was a big get. Yeah. And I do remember he had like the Marlboro, like uh I think he saved yeah. up for the Marlboro yeah. leather jacket. He's like, this jacket cost me half a lung. And you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was when my mom my mom's boyfriend, I, I could not steal cigarettes off of him. Yeah. He was a he was a he was a he he knew what's up. Don't ask me why I looked up. They ran that program for a long time. It was still an active program. Oh, I know. Up until like I want to say ten years ago. Oh, and it that was, was going on when was I was 20, in high school. Twenty five years. Yeah, and it thirty was still, years. But I was surprised when I looked it oh, up yeah. that it went for that long. People were still well, doing this. I was talking about that probably in ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Like fuel perks for emphysema or whatever. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Lung cancer. Same thing. Um, so I, I look. I wanted to talk about the elf on the shelf yeah. thing. Yeah. Because uh, I'm I'm just gonna lay it out here. 
I think it's a little bananas. Okay. I do, man. Yeah. I, I do. Um, parents, um, I apologize. I, I just think it's a little nuts. Because here's the thing. I know it's fun. I get it. It's fun. Um, and we're going to move on. Our next topic will be Santa. So, you're I, look, I get it. I get it that you change its position and it's funny and the kids are like, oh, what's the elf doing today? Sure, I get it. But that that's fun. I, I might, you know, okay. But when you... When you put this elf somewhere and then tell your kids that this elf is watching them all day and then leaves, and reporting and then, to Sam. Yeah, he leaves at night. And, and this whole thing post-dates my children. So I never, this did not exist when I had my kids going through the. This. I know. How did this get so big? Yeah, I mean, the thing that blows my mind. You did research. You're the one that I, does I, all the cursory I, research. I did. I did some I research. I did some polling of some people that do this. You did. Um, I had somebody that uh, that works for me that went out and bought one for his daughter. Mm -hmm. The first thing that blew my mind was how much this costs. It's $40 it, for, for the, a little doll. For the doll. And I think it comes with a book. It comes with a book and helps you with the story. Oh, so there is like an official. Oh, oh, Aaron, yes, yeah. It's a big business. Oh, it's a business. It is a business. I'm, it is. I'm mad. I'm more mad. Oh, yeah, it is a money maker. It's I'm a more grab. Mad. It's another thing, and I. It's a book I, and, and a doll for forty dollars. Yes, and 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 forgive me, as I didn't do. I'm clenching my teeth. I did, you know, I didn't do enough research to go back and look at the origin of it, and I apologize for that. Well, you're fired. But, but the thing about that is, it is, it's a, it's a commercial thing. It's forty dollars for you to have this, and um, you ridiculous. Know, yeah, I, 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 you know, the whole idea that me and you would argue about this because I would take like the positive side of it. I'm like you from the standpoint that I get it. Um, if you want to do, do it, it's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm not saying, but it is weird. It is a little bit much yeah. for me too. It is another level of something I've got to worry about to make sure that I don't disappoint my child at Christmas. Yeah. That's my thing. Yeah. That's my thing. And, and, and the parents that are stressing because, holy shit, they wake right. up at 3 in the morning and forgot to move Ralph. Oh, I, you name him. You, oh, oh, everyone's got their own name. They got to name their Alf. And and you know what? And and I have the friends. This I have a couple me, friends. Like this I, is giving me anxiety. I have a couple friends on Facebook that post every day their creative pictures of what they do. And she's well, also that's what it she's is. also the Pinterest mom that's posting everything but she made from a palette this don't week. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> but Trust. see, that's that's a whole other thing that we I don't even know where to go with that. Is that everything is a Facebook competition now? Oh, oh I mean, oh, honestly, most definitely. People do stuff just so they can show people how cool they are. Oh on yeah, Facebook. yeah. I mean, it's, Absolutely. I mean, like, um, yeah. look how pretty we are at this wedding. Oh, yeah. Look at this I vacation mean, we went on. I mean, I'm guilty of it, too. You know, I put that stuff out there, and it's out there. But listen, peel back Oz's curtain, and we all, we're all all messed up. We yeah, know we that. We problems. know that. No one's putting their divorce papers online. I mean, that, that, some that's... Some people yeah, do. Some might. <laughs> but, some people but do. No, I mean, that, takes a, that took a weird turn. But what I'm... Yeah, it, it has become a look-at-me, look-at-me type of thing. And, oh, yeah. you're the greatest mom because, oh, Ralphie made the kids' lunches today. Um, No, he didn't. I was the one up at 11 o'clock last night making peanut butter and jelly okay. for your son of a well, bitch. There, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Here, here's here's where I have a, into where, Here's yeah. what I have a problem with is that you're telling your kids that this doll, let's just say this out loud. You're telling your kids a doll comes to life and does shit around your house and then leaves at night and reports to Santa. Now, I know this is getting into the territory of my Santa joke that I that I've, yeah. I've done for a couple years, but 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 like uh, for real. <laughs> but like say that out loud. I I can't I know that w you white lie your kids. Mhm. Mm I know that you you make things up to your kids because they don't understand certain things. I understand that. I get how that works. Uh, you know, sure you fib a little bit with your kids because there's some things they don't understand. I personally cannot do that. I cannot convince my kids that an elf comes to life and watches them all day long. Yeah. Number one, because I just don't want to. I don't yeah. want to make up this ruse. Like, and it's also like... Well, how many levels do you need to create good behavior? That's, is that the, is that's that the, the level? That's my final point. Okay, so I grew up, I grew up, 
with the idea that there was Santa Claus. Okay. Sure. I grew up we like all that. Do. Okay. And we'll I, get to that. Yeah. And I, and I raised my children with that too. It was I always, think this is, I, I'm covering this first because it's yeah. so much an extreme. Yeah. You they, know, there was always, there was always the Santa's watching to control and to help my behavior. Right. And I get that. But when did that not become enough? Now I've got, I know. I've got Ralph that's reporting back to but the North like, Pole every night. Whoever, whoever came up with this is, is genius. Genius. But like, when was Santa not enough? Yeah. When was the naughty list not enough? Yeah. Like you had to come up with something else. Yeah. The Pinterest moms had to come mm -hmm. up with something else. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, but here's the thing, like it's okay. It's not only just lying to my kids and, and I know people's responses and I'm kind of talking about it and getting a little heated because people are like, but it's fun, but it's fun. Yeah. I, okay. It's fun. I just can't do that. Yeah. I cannot. I like having fun with my kids and I do make stuff up with my kids. Like I'll joke around with my, my kids and be like, you know, uh, you know, I'll be like, Oh kids, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make up a little funny story. Like, uh, like say like we're thinking about selling our house, right? We were th talking about selling our house in this last year and my kids are like, who's gonna, who's gonna buy our house? And I said, Oh, old Gary over at the bar. <laughs> like, I'll just say something like old Gary. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but I, you're just... and then my son's like, my son's like, I don't want to move. And I go, all right, you're living here with old Gary. <laughs> just random. Right. And so my kids are for, for a moment, yeah. my kids are like, old Gary's moving in our house. Who's old Gary. Are you going to live with old Gary? And then I'm like, guys, there's no old Gary. Yeah. And they're in on the joke. And now my son will be like, old Gary sleeping in the basement, like something yeah, silly, yeah, but you know, and it becomes like a silly thing, you know? Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it becomes a silly thing and <laughs> I'm not like, my son doesn't believe that old Gary is going to, he's going to be living with a guy named old Gary that goes to the bar down the street. Right. You know what I mean? But you're like, talking, I mean, this is, it's, that's, I understand what you're saying there. I understand right, where right. you're trying to go with it. I, I think though it, it, it creates an incredible conversation amongst parents of your beliefs and how you handle this. You know, I had this discussion with my wife leading into today's show of saying, would have the holidays been different? Would have Christmas, would have it been different as far as an excitement level if we would have went the opposite way of saying there was not Santa Claus, yeah. that we were Santa Claus? Would it have changed things? Would it have made it less enjoyable for the family? Yeah. Because, but the answer from my wife was she couldn't speak on it because she said, honestly, that's all we've known. Yeah. So I don't know what the other side looks like. I just know that the tension of sitting downstairs getting ready for Christmas when the kids are right. supposed to be in bed and every creak you hear in the house, you freeze. Yeah. And, you know, there's a stress level to it because you don't want to ruin that. You don't want to ruin that magic. Right. right. I, I, I just, yeah, I, I hear you. I just, I couldn't do it. Right. You know, I couldn't do it. I, you know, um, and my kids are young enough where we could have done it. So you have made the choice that you, you, we it, never even. Okay. No. And I, like, I didn't, I didn't ask you before you know we saying? did this. We didn't, I didn't talk to you and say, is this something that you've done oh, with the kids? So you no. give me a good example. I, you're my only friend I could say that I know that doesn't do that with their children. Sorry. And that, no, that's fine. No, oh, no, I no, 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 no. I believe I, I it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Um, but I just, you're the, able to give me the other side of it. Right. Because I, I just, you know, when, when we heard our friends doing it, it's like, we respect that and everything, but I, I still have my opinion and I think yeah. it's a little nuts. Yeah. I do think it's a little nuts. And, you know, I told my, like my wife and I are on the same, you know, wavelength a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one of those things we were like, no, 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 yeah. no, we're not into that I mean, at all. You know, probably the first time I ever seen you perform. And that was one of the first jokes I'd seen that I turned to <laughs> Melissa oh, and yeah. I said, Oh my God, I get this guy. Yeah. That was the first yeah. time I looked at her my after Santa the first joke. time seeing you and you were just like, I just did a set at the local VFW to buy yeah. you that bicycle or however that bit oh, goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I turned to her, I go, Oh, I get this dude. Yeah, yeah. Like I totally <laughs> get him. Because in my head the whole time I'm like when dads collide. Yeah. This guy gets it that this mythical person yeah. is getting credit for my hard work that I've put out there to, the buy, joke. to buy the bicycle. Yeah. And, and that's so, crazy yeah. to me. But I'm also the dad that was at midnight tramping in the snow in boots. Okay. 
and creating the whole image of Santa coming into my this home. Dude, this dude just keeps trying to get in arcade comedy theater, and I don't know why. That's okay. I have no idea. He's got a vape pen. I, I don't know what. I, I don't know if he knows where he's at. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. It's right kind of creepy. He's right like now. waiting for us to open the door for him. Is he packing? I don't know. Do I need to talk um, to him, Aaron? No, he's fine. Okay. Um, but, uh, well, yeah. So that's where I'm at with that, and we'll we'll move on to Santa because I feel like that mm-hmm. might be an, another degree. Um, but it's a de- I think it's a degree lower than Elf on the Shelf, because look, I just you know, I don't I understand you're trying to have fun, but that does pr- talk about the point. It's like, what? Why do you need these things to make your kids behave? Why does this old man keep trying to open the door? I'm going to, as a representative of the Arcade Comedy okay. Theater, I'm going to have to excuse myself go to go speak to this gentleman. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk for a minute. But what I'm trying to say is, is that... Um, <laughs> yeah, there was just a guy trying to... Um, <laughs> there's a guy just trying to get in Arcade Comedy Theater. No idea why. He's like, oh, you guys are closed. No, yeah. there's no <laughs> comedy shows at 10 in the morning, yeah. sir. We could, I mean, if you had, mean, if you had 20 bucks if on If you them, got some money, I'll do some bits, we'll, we'll bro. Do, we'll each do tight five and send you on your way this morning. Bro, I'll do a dollar a minute, homie. <laughs> dollar a minute, homie. I'll do that, no problem. He took a calendar. He's coming back. Okay. Stand up, get um, down. He's our target audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, my, my thing was, is this, is that, uh, what do you need your kids? Like, why do you need this? to keep your kids good. And I know some people say, well, I don't need it to keep them mm. like behaving. Mm. It's just fun. Yeah. Well, that goes back to the, like, this ruse is a little much, you know, yeah. but on the, uh, but we've we're already passed that, but I'm just saying like, like, the, how about like, I know, here we go. This is, yeah. this is, this is where the uh, people are going to leave comment cards. Yeah. Um, how about your kids just be good kids? Yeah. I mean, like, how about you parent and not have to use, fictional made up people yeah. to make your kids behave. Yeah. And I and people are like, oh well Aaron, you you I guess you're the perfect parents. You, you know what? My kids are pretty good. Yeah. And I mean, like and I and I don't know what to tell you. I really I don't have anything else, Jason. I, I don't, don't know remember, what to tell you. So as a parent that's already done and out of that, I will tell you that I don't remember it being that big of a deal for us to control behavior. You know, because here's the thing in the right. world of business, when you start talking about people that come into their evaluation time, they're always the best employee three weeks out from their evaluation. I wasn't questioning my son setting off fireworks in the back of my house without permission right. in Joel, in June right. um, about this. I wasn't yelling at him in June going, Santa's going to be pissed. No, I'm talking about it as no, I'm buying insane. the gifts. So, but no, I hear, I hear people in public. Santa's watching like, Hey, Santa's not going to be, you yeah. better, you better be good for Santa. But it's you, like, how about you be good for humankind? <laughs> How, how about, about you be good for the other people yeah. around you? How about you be I good for it, my own sanity as a parent? But I think it creates a false sense yeah. of responsibility as a person and a human being who I'm trying, as a parent, I'm trying to bring up human beings who are good to people, mm-hmm. who love and people and behave and, behave and, behave. and, and contribute to society. Yeah. So... I know that's you're like whoa a little too deep. No, I mean, but like, dude, but, but the, like to bring it down to bring it down to the next phase. Then, then it's like, oh, nobody's watching me. Pff, I'll do whatever I oh, want. Oh, well, yeah, I mean that goes back oh, to the you know, real. <laughs> yeah, nobody's watching. So then it that, now all of a sudden when they find out that the elf isn't real, now all of a sudden now they have to listen to their parents. And they're well, and now, also on top of that, so very late you're teaching them that now you have to be good for your parents. Well, now they're like, well, there's no fictional character watching me. What do I care? And on top of that, as a parent, how you come out of this. And with the it's way... Good. The transition it, The transition <laughs> is tough. And I'm going to tell yeah. you, especially for you parents now that have the young ones, yeah. it's younger and younger. I have a parent that came to me and said, my son is six. Yeah. And he's questioning things already. At six. Well... And, and, and yeah, because... I think the information age... Absolutely. That's exactly right. Yeah. You can go dial up what you want to find out of whether this is fact or fiction online. Right. And these kids all have iPhones at six. I mean, plus, I mean, kids got the iPhones. Plus, sure. I mean, like I said, I've said before, there's a kid in my, my son's kindergarten class mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. like, I watch Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know? I mean, it, like, it's like, what? We are in an age where 
yeah. childhood has been shrunken down in, the, in that, time we're going of, back, that time of we're innocence. We're going back to uh, hundreds of years ago <laughs> yeah. where you're nine years old, yeah. you're, getting, you're, you're getting in an arranged marriage, and, and you're, you're building working. shit. You're, you're plowing the fields. Yeah, you're plowing the fields and turning butter. Yeah. I, I had a bad experience with bringing my kids out of it. Really? I did. I pulled the card too soon. Oh. They gave, well, with Alexis was one, with my daughter was one thing. She came straight out and said <laughs> to me, you're Santa Claus. Really? She was ready. And I don't remember the ages, so I, forgive me there. Yeah, yeah. They were probably double digits close, maybe 10. Wow. They, they held on. They made it far. They did. She, I then whisked her into a room because she's got a brother that's five years younger. Right. So he's in the middle of everything. Uh, so now she has to be. My daughter is going to do the same exact thing yeah. and it's not going to last a day. Yeah. So the reality no of it way. is I pull her. She can't hold a secret. I pull her into the room and I said, listen, you are now part of this with us. Your friends at school, please don't talk about this because I don't want to ruin anyone else's belief. I said, so yes, I am Santa. I am the tooth fairy. I am you told her everything? the Easter bunny. She looks at me and you she, broke goes, her brain. she goes, her face just drops. She goes, you're the Easter bunny? And I just looked at my wife and was just like, oh, shit. And I go, oh, my goodness. And in my head, I go, wait a minute. That was a bad idea. Wait a minute. You don't believe that there's a possibility that a man comes in here and gives you presents, but you believe the reality of a full-grown bunny rabbit that comes in and gives you chocolate? What the hell did I do wrong? <laughs> what did I do? How do you, how did, oh shit. Yeah, that yeah. happened. So she was ready this for Santa. This makes me want to go home and tell my kids everything yeah. right now. Then, then my son is, so you'd think Jason would have learned. You mm -hmm. thought big Jason would have understood what to do and what, but he gave me. I ev can't believe you dropped it all. He gave me every warning sign that he didn't believe. Luke is telling him, Lucas in his class, I remember the kid's name, Lucas, yeah. is telling him that there is no Santa Claus. Dad, and he starts prepping me with all these questions. So finally, it's go time. We talked it over with Melissa. We felt good, all the warning signs. Yeah. JC, yeah, um, I'm, we're Santa Claus. Aaron, within 30 seconds, there were full-blown tears running down his face. Well, yeah. Now, here's the next well, thing yeah, with my we son. We drilled this but into here, their heads. But here, when you get into the psyche of my son, this is yeah. what he thought, people. He thought that now gifts would stop. He wasn't so much <laughs> hurt, hurt you that there was no you Santa. You should have grabbed onto that one. Yeah, that there was no Santa. He just thought he would oh, never get a present again. I mean. And then so that he goes... Well, what about the Easter Bunny? And I go, Oh no, that dude's real. <laughs> that dude's real. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. I was like, Uh uh, I'm not messing that up again. You son of a bitch. You son I of a bitch. I can't believe you dropped it all on your daughter. You, you have to be you careful. You're a yeah. savage. I just, I didn't, I read it wrong. And I was quite honestly happy to sleep in on Christmas. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and uh, and and getting into Santa. I mean, I think that's another thing that, um, you know, we play Santa. We do. We mm -hmm. play Santa, and uh, but we don't go hard. We don't. We yeah. don't. We do not use cert language. Certain language, like uh, now, I think some people are rolling their eyes at me right now because they're like, "Oh, you're this like, you're this like dad who like you know my family eats all gluten free." No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not this at all. <laughs> I'm a realist, and I I don't want my kids controlled over this made up thing. I want my kids to behave in a manner because of they respect their parents and the people around them. Right. Not because they are threatened by not getting gifts. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, that whole message, I don't want that in them. No, I agree. Um, I agree. So we do not use Santa as a behavior thing at all. We do not say Santa's watching. We don't say naughty list. Nothing. It's a fun thing. Uh, yeah, we pu we'll put out cookies, mm -hmm. and um, my kids, and I'll eat the cookies. Oh, I love them cookies. You know, like, I'll oh, eat the cookies. Hey, Dad, the question earlier on, Dad, is it true? Like, he only eats Nutter Butters? Oh, my God, <laughs> like, that's so funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, well, S Susan's parents, they, they bake cookies. I'm like... Santa loves nutter butters. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we 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 definitely make some cookies. Yeah, and you know, and they'll do like Christmas crafts, and they'll make reindeer food. It's the best. And sprinkle it outside. It's fun. That's it's the fun, fun side of it. Have right. fun with it. If there's a message from Jason and Aaron today, is 
dude, have fun, have with, fun it. with it. Don't make it a but, Marxist society. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's not do that. Yeah. Don't make it like, you know, uh, Stalin is watching you. Yeah. You know, like, and if you're having fun with it, God, do your thing. Yeah, right, right. Let them have fun with it. Right. But don't have it be what curtails their but behavior. I, I will say, you know, um, so, you know, some people may ask, and I'm going to talk about it real briefly, is that, well, um, you know, some of it, uh, and this is going to take us into our last segment. Um, some of it is because my family is Christian. Um, I would not say that my wife and I were like, well, we love Jesus and the birth of Jesus is the is, reason for this season. No, I, I think part of it yeah. is, is, uh, is that, you know, everything I just said, yeah. you know, it was, it's, it's a thing where we don't want to make it such a big deal. Um, and I know people will say, oh, you don't, your kids don't believe in Santa, but you tell them to believe in Jesus. Hey, do you, okay? Um, I'm not a fanatic, you know, I'm not, you know, but... Uh, our faith is our faith. Yeah, it's what it is. And uh, we, we uh, I think one year my kids did, did sing happy birthday to Jesus. It's adorable. It's great. It's ador when you have your four-year-old and your two-year-old singing happy birthday yeah. to Jesus, yeah. your heart melts, Two okay? 2015 candles on a cake, that's amazing. Sure. Um, <laughs> did we, have we done, I don't think we've ever made a Jesus cake, uh, but you know, whatever. I mean, you know, um, uh, so it's not that it's, it's, you know, um, but yeah, we do, we do kind of juggle that with, this is the kind of reason for the season. Sure. And we do talk about, you know, um, gift giving and Jesus being the, the, our, you know, hu hu people's gift. Yeah. You know, on Christmas being born. And, mm -hmm. you know, we do do that stuff. And that's fine. Do you. That's fine. Um, and, and with all this stuff, Elf on the Shelf, Santa, whatever, do you. This is our podcast. Mm -hmm. Like, we're just, we're just telling our own opinions. I don't want to, like, get people mad. No. You know, it's just what people do. But I think it's a good thing to think about. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's not like we're going to change people's minds. Like, they're, you know what? I'm throwing the elf away. No. No. That's fine. You threw $40 away. You might as well keep with the investment. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, so, so on that, um, so we're going to end the show with, uh, we're going to try to start a segment. We've tried to start it before. Uh, yeah. We don't know how. But um, we think we have a format for this. We think we have we a format. It. I think There's... we love this. We hugged it out. We felt good about it. That's how we negotiate deals on Check what we do together. Jay -Z. Look at old Jay Z. Wow. That dude looks like wow. sixty year old. Jay -Z. My God, he did. Oh my God, it's Dom. You just missed sixty year old Jay Z. Sixty year old Jay Z just walked he was past the window. By. Yeah, he's dropping the geriatric album. It was awesome. He's dropping. <laughs> he's dropping the, the, not the black album. It's the olive yeah. skin album. Yeah. 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 Well, the gray album is pretty good. Yeah. That's Jay-Z yeah. and the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, so our new segment, Dom, <laughs> is... Uh, so it's, Jason and I have a favorite swear word. Yes. So spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah. you shouldn't... Your kids shouldn't you be know listening to this anyway. You, know you, just it is. you just blew Christmas hard. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, yeah. And thanks to Jason Easter and the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> um, so Jason just smashed this down for all your kids. Um, Fourth of July is real. Yeah. Jesus whispered... He also whispered that Jesus isn't real in my yeah. ear. Oh, you don't uh, know. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, but I'm uh, a one of the things we say at Stand Up Get Down and also in our life and our friendship is uh, we call each other son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. To a point where we text each other S-O and it, it just finishes is son it of a bitch. It autocorrects son of a bitch. Always. With a V. With a V. Son How of. How do you spell yours? I with a V. Son of. It comes up son mine of. Mine spells S-O-N-N-A V-U bitch. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, mine is son S of a yeah. son of a bitch. Ova. Mine's Ova. Hova. Son of a. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're going to do this thing uh, uh, where we have a son of a bitch of the week. Son of a bitch of the week. And Dom's going to post produce. Yeah, He's going to do some Dom's kind of. Gonna we're going to talk to him this, afterwards. Uh, we have a great idea for an intro for our segment, uh, Son of a Bitch of the Week. Yeah. Um, where we'll it's talk be, to you offline. Yeah, it'll yeah. be fun. It's yeah. it's a fun idea. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, you know, some some. I like movies. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to get a super cut of a bunch of son of a bitches. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's going to be the son of a bitch of the week. But here is our son of a this is what we're week. ending on. Our son of a bitch of the week is David Grisham He's of reading Repent, his name. He's Amarillo, his damn name. and Last Frontier Evangelism. This son of a bitch <laughs> what a son of a walked bitch. into a mall a, yeah. in, 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 in Amarillo, Texas. Now, this is, and this is what leading directly from I'm what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to stand up when I talk about this son of a bitch. Oh, Jason's getting heated. 
this son of a bitch Jason will punch a son of a bitch. Walked into a mall Dom, in, you won't believe in this. Amarillo, Texas, and he videotaped himself with his phone walking up to a group, evangelical pastor. Walking into a mall, walking up, he told you what he was about to do on the video. Uh-huh. He walks up to a line of children and children. parents waiting mm-hmm. to see Santa Claus to let them know that there is no Santa Claus, that their parents are lying to them, yep. and that the true reason for the season is the birth of Jesus Christ, yep. and you're all sinners, and yep. you're all liars. And, the, my and some figure, dads rolled up. It is a three-minute It is a three-minute video until, of this son of until, a bitch. Until you, all you see is dad's chest. Yes. You dad's see three chest. or four dad's chest. My biggest disappointment in the whole thing as he, a dad... Did he get punched in the face? Is, well, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm nonviolent in this situation because I'm not going to teach too. my kids that. Right. But I will talk down a son of a bitch. I will be so... They, my, my kids call it the dad voice. It gets loud. And oh, I yeah. shut down streets. Oh, I would talk him like a man. Oh, I would I bust would, him up I'm with like, verbal... I, I would verbal verbalize my disappointment in this man of Christ, you son of a bitch. You're telling <laughs> what a me son of a bitch. You watch the children's face and we'll we'll post the link yeah. on, on Aaron's page. You will be able to watch this guy. My biggest disappointment of the three minute video is that it took two minutes and twenty seconds for some dads to chest up on this son of a bitch. Two minutes and twenty seconds. Yeah. Oh no! They, it was it was Dom. It was complete. Yeah, it might have been Mom's they, like no, no, no. Well, no, no they no, didn't know no. what to do. They didn't know how to react. It was something so out of the yeah. realm of res- yeah. like you couldn't believe this was happening. Yeah. And when you watch the video and you see these children. Do you. Do what you want. Believe what you want. Yeah. We believe what we want right. to believe with our kids, with Santa. You don't have the right, right. to do this. You don't. And I'm going to tell you, I would have talked that son of a bitch down, and I would have just maybe wrote a checkout for $800, took his goddamn iPhone, and threw it into the fountain on the <laughs> other end of the mall. Like, and I wrote I, him a check. I Jason wrote him is a, a savage. I would have wrote him a check. <laughs> Or maybe we would have let Santa be he his ass. Broke, he's like a gangster. He, he would break his phone and be like, hey, go buy yourself a new phone, you yeah. son of a bitch. Get out of my face. Because what's about to happen to your phone, sir? Like, you know when, when, you cut, when, you, when, when, uh, when Scarface causes a, causes a <laughs> yeah. Tony Montana flips out in a restaurant yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then uh, Manny, yeah. Manny, his partner's like, here you go. He rips off some hundreds. <laughs> yep, 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 like, yep. sorry, but let me take care yeah. of this. Let me take care of this. But no, sir, this son of a bitch right <laughs> here good, is our first weekly award winner this summer. Son of a bitch right here. I mean, he might he might crack into the the son of a bitch of the year. Well, that's that's what we're shooting for at the end of 2017. If this podcast is still going, is that we'll be. do uh, we'll do son of a bitch yeah. of the year. We'll go through. We know every it's week. the end of 2016, but he just made it to two seven. We we our calendar yeah. year runs different. It's a yeah. fiscal year for us. It's a fiscal year. We run December to December. We're in our fourth. Yeah. We're in our third quarter. I don't so know that's that our means. son of a bitch of the week. You can Google his name if you want to not wait and <laughs> click on it. It's David Grisham of Repent Amarello and Last Frontier Evangelism. What uh, is the name of that church? He's a, it's called uh, I'm a Son of a Bitch, and I like to rain down fear upon children. Uh, and, and you know, that was Christ's message, I believe. Make kids cry. Well, and, and I, you, you know. son of a bitch. And going from what I was saying, how my kids get a little bit of Santa, a little bit of Jesus, this is not how you do it, folks. No. This is not how you do it. This is He's a son know, of a bitch, but we're gonna learn from David Grisham today, you know, folks. I, we're, we're gonna not come gonna together. Get deep into religion, nope. you know, but I'm no. just saying <sighs> Christians do better. Yeah. Okay. Uh it re, <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Tom. Uh <laughs> listen. It <laughs> There is freedom for everybody, and people are allowed to believe what they want, which is why do your elf on the shelf thing, mm-hmm. whatever. I'm better than you. That's cool. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Stop writing on my website. Do not leave me a comment on my website. Um, no, we're just, I, we're, you know, it's fun to just express that. And, uh, you know, don't be a son of a bitch this holiday season, okay? Let people do what they want. I'm fine with that. You know, but also when your kids meet my kids, don't act like my kids are lunatics because they don't believe that a doll comes to life. Okay? Word. Yeah. Jason, don't be a son of a bitch. You're a son of a bitch. You son of a bitch.